Pacaembu hosted a women's football game for the first time in the year of the stadium's inauguration, in 1940. The game was played by Casino Realengo against Brasileiro. The photos and videos in this room picture these moments of euphoria at the inauguration of the new stadium for the Sao Paulo citizens. Unfortunately, there are almost no memories or records left of the women players from that seminal stage of Pacaembu. The two teams playing at Pacaembu in 1940 were from the suburbs of Rio de Janeiro, the ones we talked about in the episode of the Origins Room, remember? The teams played preliminary matches before the matches of the male teams of São Paulo and Flamengo. The women's teams of Casino Realengo and Brasileiro were known for their quality. Hughes Press organized the match for the São Paulo citizens at the Pacaembu Stadium. At that time, São Paulo and Rio had a brawl in football, a competition as intense as Chicago deep dish versus New York style pan pizza. The state's feed to see who was best with the ball. The Pacaembu Stadium was jam-packed. It felt like a sardine can, not a single empty spot. The game was featured in newspapers in Rio de Janeiro and São Paulo. Some welcomed the news with positive eyes. Others downplayed women's football. Some men feared that the women players would turn into a threat to men's football, which ended up fueling the infamous decree law that came to be only a year later. Pacaembu only returned to hosting women's games many years later. It was a match between actresses from São Paulo and Rio. The idea was to raise funds to build the Actors' Hospital. It was 1959 and women still were not allowed to play. So, you can imagine the size of this mess. The authorities didn't appreciate the idea at all. But the argument was that it was a show, a spectacle, a charity event, so it stuck. Even with the prejudiced comments of the press, the stadium sold out once again. They were able to raise good money, and the following year, there was more. When women's football was regulated and the sport started to become more popular, the Pacaembu Stadium started hosting again several games for women. Brazil vai assumindo a liderança do torneio internacional Cidade de São Paulo. Olha a sobra da Erika, tá voltando. That was Luciano Duvalli commenting on Brazil's victory against Chile, a 4 against 0. A memorable moment. The history of the Pacaembu Stadium intertwines with that of Brazilian football. For years, women were unable to play here, but we keep on writing new chapters without ever forgetting the past. This way, we are able to avoid making the same mistakes again. We are reaching the end of our tour. It's been an honor to have you with us this far. A good part of the collection about women at the Football Museum is the result of the work of the Brazilian Football Reference Center, the department of the museum responsible for the research and organization of the content. Their work was key for us to build this audio guide. And anyone can help. If you happen to have any material about women in football, talk to us. You can work side by side with the museum to rebuild this history. It is a huge challenge for us to put together the pieces of this puzzle. There are few official sources and almost no record in the organizations, clubs, sports federations and archives. It's a collective effort, like with the wave at the bleachers at the stadium. Do you know what I mean? A wave that only works if each one cooperates with the other. Here is where the help of a giant network of researchers and academics from several places in Brazil is so central. And of course, the leading actors of this story, women players, referees, journalists, and fans. Without them, everything would have been much more difficult. A lot of these women own a plethora of material and rich collections, game tickets, pennants, letters, and pictures, in addition to their own memories. Since 2015, this has been in the process of getting digitized. The Football Museum is proud today to have the largest archive and database on the sport and in all of Brazil. Before we say goodbye, I wanted to tell you that the Football Museum has virtual exhibitions on the Google Arts and Culture platform. They have even more history about women's football in Brazil and other topics related to the most popular sports in our country. 
If you've listened to this audio guide inside the Football Museum, we are beyond grateful for your visit. If you've listened from afar, you can rest assured that we will be waiting for you and you will always be welcome here. For more information about the Football Museum, you can visit www.museodofutebol.org.br. And it's the end of the match. This audio guide was made possible by the match funding program BNDS Mais, carried out by Benfitoria, and thanks to the help of 343 supporters who contributed to our crowdfunding campaign in 2020. It was a pleasure to be here with you and to give voice to these stories. If you enjoyed it, make sure you share it. <laughs>